There's so much more to school than just math and reading. Um, these kids are full of hope and compassion, and um, just seeing them do it is just melts my heart and gives me more hope every day. Something special is happening at Hillsdale Elementary in Meridian. A class of fifth graders is getting a lesson in compassion and giving back. They got involved with the nonprofit called Blankets of Hope for a class project, and it's had a big impact on them. Maggie O'Mara takes us to Hillsdale for this week's Seventh Hero. These fifth grade students at Hillsdale Elementary are busy writing letters, heartfelt letters to people they don't even know. My favorite part is writing the notes and like thinking of the people that are going to give it to you and like just writing all these inspiring things on the notes. These notes will be given to the homeless at Interfaith Sanctuary along with a warm blanket. I love to help people and I love to do things for other people. It just makes me super happy and grateful that I get to do this. This class project is all part of a nonprofit called Blankets of Hope. Blankets of Hope is an organization that two brothers started um, and they reach out to people across the country really. We were supposedly more connected than ever, but we still felt completely empty inside. Every day, New York brothers Mike and Nick Fiorito passed by homeless people freezing on the streets of New York City. Then one day we stopped and asked ourselves, what really matters? And that's when everything changed. We all just want to know that our life means something. We want to know that people care. They set up a GoFundMe and raised enough cash to buy a hundred blankets for the homeless, and they added something special, a handwritten note. Some of the people we've spoken to haven't heard their name called in over three months. My name is Tom. Eric, Lara, Nick, Robert, Robert, Jake, Robert. It's easy to forget <laughs> these are real people, real human beings. These are mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, and they're completely alone. To us, it's something simple, just a blanket and a handwritten note. But to someone else, it could mean the world. That was just the beginning of a countrywide movement. One of our students' parents contacted me and asked if uh, we could get some blankets delivered in our own community. Well, we talk a lot in our classroom about being kind and giving back to the community. In our social studies class, we talk about giving and doing things for the common good. It's just giving it with a nice note to help them know that they're important and keeping them warm. I think it lets us see how many people don't have homes and how many people aren't as fortunate as us and lets us see how fortunate we are and like and how lucky we are and that we should be helping them. Interfaith Sanctuary says this donation is much needed. Oftentimes we run out of blankets because we do serve 164 guests a night. I think it also shows the community that fifth graders are able to kind of create a change and start a movement of paying it forward. That's what it's all about. Having these extra blankets will mean that, you know, that they'll just have something that reminds them that they're not forgotten, that they are loved. So what really matters? We all matter, each and every one of us. The students at Hillsdale Elementary are providing so much hope and love. The compassion that I see my students exhibiting through this has been um, brought a tear or two to my eye. They are Seven's heroes. For more information on Blankets of Hope and how you can get involved, just check your or check the story out at our website at ktbb.com. It's really neat That's raising very those cool. kids with that sort of. Uh, idea of something so simple can make such a, a big difference. huge difference in yeah. someone's life. Definitely, that's really cool.